हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ मोहम्मद अमरान आई एम ए सेकेंड एम बी स्टूडेंट सो वी आर गोना डिस्कस अबाउट फेरेंजल आर्चर्स टुडे इट इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर एनाटमी एग्जाम एंड वी आर आल्सो गोना डिस्कस सम टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स टू मेमोराइज द डेरिवेटिव्स ऑफ फेरेंजल आर्चर्स स्टार्टिंग विथ वॉट इज़ फेरेंजल आर्च दीज आर रॉड लाइक थिकनिंग्स ऑफ मिसोडर्म प्रेजेंट इन द वॉल ऑफ फोरगट देर आर टोटल फाइव आर्चर्स बट देर आर सिक्स आर्चर्स ड्यूरिंग द डेवलपमेंट द फिफ्थ आर्च डिसअपियर्स here we can see the embryo and uh, this bulging produced by developing brain represents head and stomatodium represents future mouth and pericardial bulge represents future thorax as we can see there is no neck in this embryo so neck would be formed by elongation between stomatodium and pericardial bulge and this elongation is mainly due to appearance of a series of mesodermal thickening that is pharyngeal arches now coming to the coronal section through cranial part of foregut in this image we can clearly see ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm and there is buccopharyngeal membrane and primitive pharynx is derived from foregut and this would get developed into this image that is there would be mesodermal thickening as found in pharyngeal arches the mesodermal thickening would lead to the formation of arches that is first arch second arch third arch fourth arch fifth arch would disappear as soon as it is formed and sixth arch there are total five arches first second third fourth and sixth what would happen to ectoderm and endoderm endoderm would get derived two endodermal pouches first second third and fourth and ectoderm would get developed into ectodermal clefts first second third and fourth the structures to be seen in a pharyngeal arches are there would be development of nerve muscle cartilage and aortic arch now coming to the derivatives of the skeletal elements the skeletal element that is formed from the pharyngeal arches in this image we can clearly see the structures that are derived from the red one are the one from first pharyngeal arch like malleus incus spinomandibular ligament etc and the structures that are derived from the green one are the one from second pharyngeal arch like stapes styloid process and stylohyoid ligament etc and the structures that are derived from the blue one are from third pharyngeal arch and the structures that are derived from the purple one are from fourth and sixth pharyngeal arch now we would study this in detail how to memorize the structures that are derived from various pharyngeal arches the cartilage of first arch is called meckel's cartilage now how to remember the structures that are derived from first pharyngeal arch we can remember it by three things like middle ear facial bone and there are two ligaments in middle ear we know that malleus and incus is present in middle ear so malleus and incus are derived from first pharyngeal arch while stapes is derived from second pharyngeal arch and uh, facial bones like maxilla mandible palatine zygomatic temporal these all are derived from first pharyngeal arch and there are two ligaments which are derived from first pharyngeal arch first one is anterior ligament of malleus and second one is spino mandibular ligament now coming to the structures that are derived from second pharyngeal arch the second pharyngeal arch is also called hyoid richards cartilage and it can be remembered by 5s first one is stapes styloid process stylohyoid ligament smaller lesser corno of hyoid bone and superior part of body of hyoid bone these all are derived from second pharyngeal arch the stapes the middle ear structure that is derived from second pharyngeal arch while malleus and incus are derived from first pharyngeal arch in the structures that are derived from third pharyngeal arch is exactly opposite to this greater corno of hyoid bone and lower part of body of hyoid bone the structure that is derived from fourth and sixth pharyngeal arch are cartilages of larynx moving on the nerves of the pharyngeal arches the nerves that are derived from pharyngeal arches can be remembered by mans facis glossy super and refreshing m for maxillary and mandibular branches of trigeminal nerve that is fifth cranial nerve and f for facial nerve and g for glossopharyngeal nerve that is ninth 
cranial nerve and uh, s for superior laryngeal nerve and r for recurrent laryngeal nerve both are 10th cranial nerve the first pharyngeal arch maxillary and mandibular branches of trigeminal nerves are derived second one facial nerve is derived third pharyngeal arch glossopharyngeal nerve fourth one superior laryngeal nerve sixth one recurrent laryngeal nerve moving on the muscles that are derived from pharyngeal arches in first pharyngeal arch we can remember it by mat m for muscles of mastication a for anterior belly of digastric muscle and t for tensor tympani and tensor palati the muscles of mastication are medial pterygoid lateral pterygoid masseter and temporalis in the second arch the muscles that are derived from second arch are facial muscles posterior belly of digastric stapedius and auricular muscles the muscle that is derived from third arch is stylopharyngeus from fourth arch is larynx cricothyroid muscle and the muscles of pharynx the sixth arch all intrinsic muscles of larynx except cricothyroid because it is derived from fourth pharyngeal arch the arteries that are derived from pharyngeal arches the in first pharyngeal arch maxillary artery second one hyoid and stapedial arteries form third pharyngeal arch common carotid and internal carotid arteries form and fourth one arch of aorta and subclavian arteries form and the sixth one is ductus arteriosus and pulmonary artery thank you for watching hope you like this video make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for more videos related to medical field